Hi, I'm Matt Hillebrand with Don's Appliances, joined by Anthony Marino. Hello, everyone. Chef extraordinaire. Chef to the stars here. You know, every, uh, everybody out there listening, well, most everybody probably is listening in the morning mm -hmm. and probably are coffee drinkers like mm -hmm. us, You're right, right? coffee drinkers. And, uh, you know. Or tea. Someone drinks some tea, you know. Or tea. Yeah. It, all things coffee, though. Let's let's talk all things coffee because you know I'm a big coffee drinker. I love coffee in the morning. But good coffee, good coffee. Too. You know, and and for me, um, I like to have my beans ground mm -hmm. prior to each cup so that I get a fresh cup every time. Every time, it, it matters. It matters immensely the, the amount of because you know you could select the grind house. You know, what coffee do you go with? What's your go? With? I, I'm just a basic guy. Listen, I, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy. I love Dunkin' Donuts whole beans, and I just that's my favorite coffee. I I don't like uh, Starbucks. I don't like a lot of the specialty coffees because I think they're too mm -hmm. they're too strong. They're too acidic. I guess is the word I'm you're, looking you're right. for. Right, the acidity. I mean, you have to. You, ever, you have to open the bag and look at the beans. And we always tell our, all of our customers that buy our coffee makers, you know, no oily beans. Because, you know, the oil, the beans are roasted dry. So that's the purest form. Anytime they're oil or something like that, there's flavorings on them. There's you know, um, you know, just other additives. And that's really when you see the additives on there. So, so hazelnut, right? So yeah. if you want hazelnut beans, mm -hmm. don't buy hazelnut beans. Buy hazelnut syrup. Buy, yeah, buy, buy, that's what we tell everybody. You know, let the machine grind you a great shot of espresso, some good creme on it. Then you, like anything else, you season it afterwards. You add your creamer, you add whatever you need to, to do to, to, to make that right. But that'll really help your, your machine not build up all of that, you know, grind and that oil. I mean, what happens? The, the, the fastest coffee? way to damage an expensive coffee maker is to put flavored oily beans in it. Hands that's down, right? that's the fastest way to a major, major service call. Mm -hmm. Because those beans get caught up in the grind yeah, mechanism. Yeah, they get caught up in the and, grind And and yep. you're just you're gonna destroy the grinding mechanism. And I can tell you if you have a built in coffee system or if you have a really really good countertop unit mm -hmm. that grinds its own beans uh you're just you're just throwing good money away buy whatever flavored yeah. you know flavor syrup mm -hmm. out there they they make so many different ones and mm -hmm. just to add it my daughter my daughter's big into this like she barista they, stuff yeah yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. They, they have a coffee house at school and uh she she always wants to make a coffee you know Mm -hmm. So it, it's kind of wild, but... Uh... But they're making it a lot easier now. I mean, a lot of the brands that we carry, you know, froth the milk to the right temperature, give you the correct parameters for a coffee. You know, let's say a latte macchiato, things like that. I mean, if you, wanna, if you want a latte macchiato, you know, the diagrams there, it's going to give you steamed milk. It's going to give you that double shot of espresso, then it's going to give you that froth on the top. So let's, I know we've done this yeah. with, um, with dishwashers and other appliances, right? Mm. So like if folks out there listening, if, if they want a countertop unit and they don't want to spend an arm and a leg, right? Mm. We have the GE profile, the GE cafe countertop units that mm -hmm. are good machines. Yeah, they're right? good machines. They're, they're quiet. They're, they're, you know, cut and dry. There's not a lot of whistles, and I used this last month on uh, Talk Pittsburgh. I used one of the G Cafe models. Froth, it, you know, it has the side frother on it. I did a nice espresso. The thing about it is it's narrow and sleek. You know what I mean? It'll match your cafe badges on all, on all your appliances. So if you want to make it look, you know, match and sweet, but great espresso, nice, neat, and easy. I don't think they grind. They don't have grinding units, if I'm not mistaken. Or do they? Yeah, the whole bean, you add whole bean in. Okay, so they do have a grinding unit. Okay. Yes, they do. Uh, not as familiar with the cafes or mm -hmm. the profiles, mm -hmm. um, but, and then as we move up, like Mila makes a really good countertop unit Bar that, on, that yeah. you can get with the, uh, with or without the frothing option. Uh, it is essentially their built-in coffee system on the counter. Mm -hmm. And it is about a third the price of their built-in unit. But it is a great, great appliance. My dad uses one. Um, it grinds each individual cup. Mm -hmm. You've got the frothing option. It is awesome. Yeah, it, 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 Matt, to Matt's point, I mean, it is the same exact grindhouse 
same exact unit <clears throat> as the one in the wall, but now you know you could take it and put it wherever you want to put it. You know, you don't have to have it built in. So for built-ins, who do you like? So for built-ins, you know, there's really only two that I would ever, ever recommend. Mm -hmm. One would be the Mila, which would be a plumbed unit. What I like about the Mila is that it's got the ability to put cleaning cartridges in it on their plumb unit. Um, I think on the non-plumb, it would come with that option as well. Yeah. But the, the great part is it'll automatically go through a clean and descale once you put it into that program. You know, there's, there's a lot less interaction with the unit in terms of cleaning. And that's what everyone hates. I mean, it, it's the best coffee in the world, but I always tell you, it's the most maintenance piece in your kitchen. You know what I mean? Every 400 cups, it needs descale. You know, the mill pipe work needs cleaned as well. I mean, things like that. But from when I started to present day now, it's become so much easier. Before, I mean, the milk would, the milk pipe would get clogged. You'd have to really use that little um, brush. Pipe cleaner. Yeah, yes, use, the use pipe the cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Oh, that? my gosh. You'd have to take the back of the door off and clean it. I'm like, there's got to be a better way. They thought of a better way. Now, I mean, it rinses. And uh, this new version, you could set it to do it, you know, at 5 a.m. or, you know, 5 p.m. or 7 p.m., whenever it's nighttime. I mean, it, it will do it and run the, run the clean cycle and go through it. Yeah, and there's there's great videos now that are available that we do and, mm. you know, Mila does that, that show you how to maintain that. Uh, I also like the Thermidor coffee system. And the big reason why I like the Thermidor is that not only does it have the water line for plumbing but mm -hmm. it also has a drain line it's the only manufacturer that has a drain line which means that every time that unit rinses through and, and makes a cup of coffee there's always excess water that ends up in a holding pan below yes. every manufacturer that that has a built-in has a sensor that tells you when that needs emptied you know whether it be the Milo, whether it be the bosch the mm -hmm. jenner the wolf well the thermidor if you get the plum version it also has the drain, which means that the only time you're ever going to really have to pull that pan out is if you've got beans clogged in the plunger system, which prevents it from draining, mm -hmm. or during descale. So that's my go-to. And, and, and the third one, I mean, I have, the, I have the Bosch one. I love the Bosch one. I love the dial at home, you know what I mean? The dial's easy. I can select in, and I'm an app person, so I have the home connect with it, and I download the coffees from all over the world. I have some fun. I, don't really, don't, I really don't travel all over the world, but you know what I mean? Sitting at home, you know, downloading coffee from all over the world, man, you, you, get, the, you get the idea. But there is great options. You know, there is a party mode, too, and a barista mode in uh, Mila that, you know, you guys can, you know, chance and, and try the different uh, flavors of coffee and decide which one you like and set it as your profile in your settings. I love barista mode. I think it's amazing. Yeah, you, 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 you know, in a lot of these coffee systems, you can pre-select your favorite grind, your favorite temperature, mm -hmm. et cetera. And, you know, one thing, though, to take from this, We've got a vast array of coffee systems available, whether mm. they're built in or whether they're countertops. Be sure to go to donsappliances.com. Chef always <laughs> loves answering questions. So I love it. I'm there. Ask any question online. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and listening. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you.